Where we are in health care right now, it's clear the Senate Republicans are not going to be able to replace Obamacare anytime soon. Uh, they've said, talked about repealing it, but even yesterday, the majority leader, Mitch McConnell, said, you know, there's still real problems, particularly with these insurance exchanges we've got to address. We're going to have some, have some hearings. How bad is the situation if we just keep going the way we're going? Uncertainty about the playing field for insurers makes it really difficult for them to forecast what premiums should be to make sure that they can stay in business and to figure out what kind of enrollees they're going to attract. Are they going to get sicker enrollees or healthier enrollees? So being unsure about how premiums are going to be set and how subsidized people are going to be to participate in the market makes it much less appealing for insurers to participate in these health insurance exchanges. So Catherine, take us through that. You just mentioned subsidies and there is a requirement of subsidies the administration has not been willing to commit exactly on how long they're going to go with the subsidies. Is that the problem, that they don't know those subsidies coming through, or is there a problem with the individual mandate? Well, both the subsidies and the mandate contribute to people's decisions about whether to get insured or not. As an individual, you have to decide, is the premium worth the protection and the health care that I would get by getting the insurance policy? The subsidies are supposed to make it more affordable for low-income people to use health care once they're insured. It brings cost sharing down for lower-income people. The mandate is supposed to provide the stick to say you have to get insurance or you pay some penalty. So with those two pieces uncertain, you may get very different decisions at the individual level. Maybe healthy people will decide it's not worthwhile to buy a policy if they're not going to suffer from the mandate if, or the penalties associated with the mandate if they don't. Maybe low-income people will think it's not worth buying the insurance because they're not going to be able to use it because the cost sharing is going to be too high. So that's really going to affect the mix of people in the market. Well, Catherine